Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna. Today we're going to do an easy, quick DIY to make your own dollhouse miniature rug. Now, I've shared different rug variations before here on my channel using different backgrounds including felt, fabrics. This one is like a, um, a thicker style cotton that I got as a roll from either Timu or Shein for wipes to keep in the car and it came in a really cute kawaii style casing but now I use it for my miniatures because I really enjoy um, how it's working. It has a little waffled look to it so it looks cute too for blankets and things like that. But today we're going to use it to make a very quick carpet. Now remember you can use ribbons like this. Um, this is the kind that I bought from Shein and it came in a great big old bundle. Here's another style. I have about maybe seven or eight other ones that I um, bought that I have shared previously. So I think we're going to work on this green one today and I'll do this another day. And I have shared also using yarn. You can use yarn. You can use whatever you have. Okay. Now you're going to decide if you want your, um, first make sure your fabric's down the way you want it and the length that you want it. Um, I love these because they already come in pre-cut squares, as you can tell right there. You just took it apart, and it's done. I love that. Okay, now you're going to decide which direction you want it to go to, right? And um, just to make it easy for you as you're working with it. I think I'm going to use it in, you know, just to apply it here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my glue. And I'm just using my tacky glue, super easy, I'm using my tacky glue here. I think I need to open up this opening a little bit more, but I'm going to test, test out the way this feels. And I find that the tacky glue holds everything down wonderfully. Honestly, it does with no problems or issues at all. So if you're wondering about that, have no fear, okay? Now what I always do is I always cut it a little bit longer than what it's supposed to be. And just to make sure I have enough um, coverage, you're better off having enough coverage than having too little coverage. And then I just like to line it up underneath so you don't see the bottom half so much. And I take a peek and you see how I leave just that little tiny edge there so then you don't see it. Then I continue on. This is going to be a very quick process as you can see. Very quick. I'm just making a little square and trying to make sure that the edges are going to meet and it'll glue down properly. I put some down in the middle as well. This is a nice thick ribbon so none of this glue is going to um, have an issue with it showing through. I know if you have a thinner style ribbon, sometimes that could be a problem, but not this. Okay, then you just want to run your hand over it to make sure it is flat. And you see how fast the process is? You can create a lot of carpeting um, on a budget, you know, just using what you have at home, fabrics as well, old shirts, dresses, old lace blouses, that have stains um, that have been damaged or ripped or including uh, you can use table cloths. I use lace tablecloths to make beds, lacy beds. I just um, re-released a video from, I kid you not, five years ago of my grand quite uh, lace bed that I created for one of my houses. And I somebody had just watched it left a comment on it and I was like you know what let me re-release this one I think folks would enjoy seeing how I made this with what I had at home I used an I an old iPhone case for the bed <laughs> I look at stuff and I'm like oh can I make a bed or something out of that I I, I am known for that uh I I I do that a lot and my husband always I feel like he gets a new iPhone every year so I got plenty of uh, one-time chances with those. But what I also found that are a good size are the Dollar Tree perfumes 
that they sell. I've made beds out of those as well. Um, just a heads up. I have used those as well. So you'll see videos with those if you take a peek through my playlist. So as you can see, it's coming out beautiful. I'm not even paying attention to lining them up too much, but they are lining up. So you want to, if it, there's a pattern, just make sure that the pattern is lining up so it doesn't look funny. <laughs> so it doesn't look weird or funny or something at the end that you're like, wow, I didn't line it up. Make sure you're lining up that pattern. And here we go. We're doing this and you see how fast it's going. And carpets make a, such a large impact on a room. I also shared how I created uh, faux wood as well. If you don't have money to buy the wood, the wood is very expensive. It is. Uh, I showed you a way how to make the faux wood before. And there's lots of YouTubers that create and use different, um, different ways to create their faux woods and what have you. So, you know, there's lots of different ways to do it. Okay. All right, so that looks great. So I used one, two, three, four, five, five rows of this. I am going to trim right here. And when I trim it, I want to kind of trim it a little bit on the short side. As, as I said before, and dad's coming up the stairs asking who wants breakfast. Um, and all right. Here we go. And then you just want to make sure that it has enough glue since you're cutting it short. So I'm going to make sure it has enough glue because I think I cut off some of the glue part. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add some more glue. Look, because I cut off some of that glue part. Here we go. So we're going to add some more glue here. More glue. This is your time to fix anything. Okay. Here we go. All right. And one of the carpets that I made, I used a different color on the background and I used the lace, not lace. I used, um, I used yarn and it had a really cool effect. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to trim her up here and go just trim it across straight across. Sometimes you can pull the fabric and let it have a really nice frayed carpet look, frayed edge. I'm not going to do that this time, even though I probably could, because, you know, but I don't think I, I'm going to do that, not this time. Um, let me fix this little edge here. And like I said, you might have to re-glue a little bit more. This is your opportunity to re-glue. Let me bring this over here closer over here so I can see what I'm doing when I'm cutting. Okay, here we go. But you see how fast this process is? And it makes such a large impact on a room. I just, I love carpets. And when you can sit down and make five, six, ten carpets in one day, even just watching TV, uh, you just, you know, you're getting your watch on, but you're still creating. You can get a lot done just sitting down while you're watching TV for dollhouse miniatures, honestly, including making pillows and blankets and sheet sets and towel sets, just little things. And you just bring your little items with you and do it just like that. Let me move this over here. Okay. So she looks like that. Now, like I said, you can do, you could try to do a frayed edge. Some have a nicer look with a frayed edge. Some don't. So this one, I don't think will. Oh, yeah, it does. This one does. Okay, so let's do a frayed edge real quick. I'm just pulling the fabric. You saw that? I'm just pulling the fabric. You see this? I'm just pulling it, and it's giving it that nice frayed little fringe right there. That's all you got to do. And then you cut it. Okay. So now you have a more realistic carpet look. Okay, here we go. I'm going downstairs, Mom. Okay, honey, I'm almost done with my video. Can you turn my light on, sweetheart? I'm in the middle of a video. Thank you. 
Look at him trying to be cute. Huh? Oh my goodness, you guys. Stop playing with the light. <laughs> he loves messing with me. Yeah, did you like that? That's how my husband messes with me. He's very playful. Okay. All right. Um, so, there we go. And then you can tighten that up because it's not perfect by any means there on that end. But I'm just showing you how quickly you can get it done. There you go. Cut that. Here we go. And let me cut that. Cut this. There we go. There we go. Now let me cut that one. And we got two more to go before my husband comes up in here and starts flashing my light again, telling me breakfast is ready. Oh my goodness. Here we go. All right. Oh, my husband, he was a funny guy. Okay. So like I said, you can trim these up and make them look better. Right now, I'm going to be heading downstairs to have breakfast and I'm going to trim these up a little bit better. And maybe free these a little bit more possibly as you can tell but they have that really nice fringed look to them now and we did this together in a matter of not even 12 minutes beautiful carpet for your dollhouse that you can create I know let me trim this up here is driving me nuts that you can create simply with what you have hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial and how you can do it in all the different kind of fabrics and things that you can use to create them. Talk to you later. Bye.